a consensus that we all need a crew who will be with you and for you through it all. It's actually how God created us. So while it can be tricky to be vulnerable and open with others, we do need each other, even if we wanna act like we don't. Now, you know who knew a lot about friendships and how we need real friends when things get tough? One of the wisest guys that ever lived, King Solomon. Now, King Solomon lived long before Jesus came to earth and was the son of King David. Most people have heard of King David because he was the dude who used a slingshot to kill the giant Goliath. That was Solomon's dad. Solomon wrote a lot about friendships and relationships in a book called Ecclesiastes because he wanted people to get the most out of life. He knew that so much of our lives have to do with relationships and who we call our real friends. He had some amazing things to say on the topic, probably because, well, I mean, I bet Solomon had a lot of experience with fake friends. I mean, people have a tendency to flock to a person in power, and Solomon wasn't just a super wise king. He was also a very rich and powerful king, which means he probably had plenty of fakes wanting a place in his life. And he got the importance of real friends in a big way. So I wanna share with you one of the best things he wrote that describes how friends help each other when things get tough. He wrote in Ecclesiastes chapter four, two are better than one. If one falls down, his friend can help him up, but pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Well, those are the kind of friends we want with us when things get tough. Solomon is saying, hey, when life knocks us down and it happens to everyone, fake friends are quick to leave but it's better to have a friend that sticks with you. One person can be overpowered by hard things in life, but when there are two real friends sticking together and helping each other, they can handle things when life gets tough. Here, think of it this way. Okay, so imagine that this is you. And when you are facing all the tough things in life that I filled our bucket up with earlier, well, it can be hard to stay strong, to not become overwhelmed by what's happening. So we may look at our friends, right, and expect them to help us, but fake friends are quick to leave when things get tough, so we're on our own with this. And it is hard to deal with life when we're going through hard things, and it breaks us. But God never intended for us to go through tough times alone. That's why real friends are so important. Real friends don't bolt when things get tough. Real friends are different. Real friends stick with us, even during tough times. And when we have the support, well, it starts to feel very different than when we're facing things alone. When life gets tough and we have real friends that stick with us, we understand what Solomon was saying about a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. When I have two or more real friends with me, I know I can handle whatever tough situation I'm facing. And that's how I know the difference between fake friends and real friends. Fake friends, they fall off. Real friends, stick. They stay. Isn't that true? Fake friends fall off, but real friends stay. And one of the best ways for real friends to help each other when things get tough is to, well, first be real and be vulnerable with each other, but don't stop there. The best way for real friends to help each other is to pause and pray together. Pray for each other because praying together helps us stay together. This one thing, prayer, it, it bonds a group more than anything, more than wearing the same shirt on game day or learning a TikTok dance together, although totally keep doing those things too, but, Praying with friends and for friends has the power to unite and strengthen like nothing else. So here's what I know. Throughout this year, you and your friends will face difficult circumstances. Life will get tough. And when that happens, remember to call, text, video, whatever, and get those friends who stay to pray. Can that feel awkward at first? Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> but awkward doesn't mean wrong. It just means you're a beginner. I promise, I felt awkward the first time I sang in front of anyone and the first time I tried being the flyer in a cheerleading stunt. Awkward doesn't mean bad, it just means beginner. And it is 100% worth it to push through the awkward to get to the real. And remember, prayer does not have to be reserved for tragic moments. You can ask for prayer for everyday situations, anxiety, stress about a test, nervousness about a hard conversation you're about to have, wisdom on how to handle an opportunity. We really need to stop pretending to be okay. 
Ask those real friends for help. Let them show up for us. I mean, if someone asked me to pray for them, I would do it, period. And quite frankly, I need the opportunity to focus on someone outside myself anyway. So let's commit to not only finding friends who will pray with us, but to inviting those friends into the difficult moments of our lives and allowing them to support us. As I wrap up, here's what I want to encourage you to do. Would you tell the people you're with just one thing you'd like prayer for and take a minute before you leave to pray for each other? Again, it doesn't have to be some huge tragic thing. It could be, I'm feeling a little unsure right now, or I'm having a hard time not giving up right now, or I can't figure out what activities to focus on for next year, whatever it is. Let's keep being real friends for one another who stay. Now next week, Matt will be wrapping up our Fake Friends series and you won't wanna miss it. So bring your crew with you and we'll see you then.